Hi there, today we're going to be talking about assignment criteria and assignment attributes and other related objects in Siebel tools. We'll begin by displaying three hidden objects, assignment attribute, assignment criteria, and workflow policy object. So let's get that started. The assignment attribute is a logical object and you'll see I have six currently for the opportunity assignment object and you'll see that they have simple properties like a data type, whether they use a pick list, whether they're bounded, or whether they propose a range of values to the assignment rules. The child object, the assignment column, and the assignment attribute column introduces references to the assignment object, in this case opportunity, and also to a workflow policy object, workflow policy object component, and workflow policy object component column all that information to lead right back to a particular column in a particular base table in the Siebel database. Let's take a look at the assignment criteria. We find the same six logical definitions and in the child object we'll find the reference to the assignment attribute. So now we know to create an assignment criteria we need an assignment attribute. The third object we're going to look at is Workflow Policy Object and its child objects Workflow Policy Component and Workflow Policy Component Column. You'll see a longer list here and uh, those of you familiar with Workflow Policies will recognize these as the values available to you when you create a condition for a Workflow Policy on the opportunity. For example here I've got a Workflow Policy using the Opportunity work the Workflow Object and the list of choices in here should correspond to the list I've just shown you. Take for example in this list there is already a value called opportunity primary win probability. You can just see it there. Uh, I'm going to expose this as an assignment criteria. If I didn't have the corresponding workflow policy component column I could extend my database with Siebel Tools database extensibility and proceed that way. But because I am able to choose here the opportunity win probability as a condition I know I can now use it in my assignment attribute and my assignment criteria. So let's go ahead and do that. So I began by creating an assignment attribute and uh, giving it a data type of number saying that I'm going to use uh, a range of values and um, that's about it. In the child object, I created the reference to the assignment object, as well as a reference to the workflow policy object, workflow policy component, and workflow com policy component column. So all this leads back to my win probability. In the assignment criteria, I created a logical record as before, and I gave it a display name of win probability, so uh, it's going to be a little easier to find in the list. nothing much else to report except that it's not an expertise because it's not a skill so I'm not using the skill tables we'll talk about that in another flyby in the child object I make sure that I reference my new assignment attribute it's a little bit beyond the scope of the flyby today but if you're interested to find out uh, the one two three and four the different values of the store column property and information on how assignment manager is going to use my assignment uh, criteria the bookshelf is uh, waiting for you especially the assignment management uh, administration guide. So after doing all the necessary administrative steps outlined in the bookshelf uh, to ensure that my assignment attribute and assignment criteria are now available for use, if I go to my list of assignment rules and I drill down on assignment rule and create a new criteria for the opportunity assignment object, win probability is now available to me in the list and when I scroll down the page to enter my uh, values because I said use range, I'm able to enter a range of values, so this will be between 10 and 20. That about finishes our flyby for today, just to remind you that we created an assignment attribute, an assignment uh, criteria, and we looked at the relationship between these two objects, as well as the workflow policy object. Thank you for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.